Amanda Shalala there. Now, a team of Australian-led researchers say, get this, they've traced the origins of sex back 385 million years to a pair of Scottish fish. The discovery shows the physical act between male and female species started much earlier than was previously thought. This animation of two ancient fish called placoderms mating in a Scottish lake is what researchers believe the first sex act looked like. What we've discovered in this paper is that the origins of copulation go much further back, both in time and also at a node that's much earlier, associated with the origin of the first jawed vertebrates. Placoderms are the most primitive jawed vertebrates and the earliest vertebrate ancestors of humans. An international team led by Flinders University's Professor John Long has found males developed bony L-shaped genital limbs called claspers, which they used to grasp the partner, while the female also had small bones for locking. It's the earliest example of males and females starting to show distinct differences in their physical appearance. Now we know that probably many of the structures that first appeared in placoderms, including behaviours like copulation, first evolved in them and then carried right through the rest of vertebrate evolution. The discovery came after Professor Long stumbled on a fossil bone he couldn't explain in a collection in Estonia. From there, researchers analysed a vast range of specimens from museums across the world. It was very unexpected because normally when you're a paleontologist you look, you're looking for fossilised skulls and fossilised bones and you don't expect to find uh, fossilised genitalia. Whether it was an act of love or just copulation is still up for debate. Nicola Gage, ABC News, Adelaide. Time now for all...